take away memories to treasure. Mark Bennett, ABC News, Mount Barker. A new report from Swim Safer Australia reveals more than half of Aussie parents are unsure if their kids could get themselves through a water emergency. And more than a third are not too confident with their own swimming skills. Olympic gold medalist Gian Rooney is no stranger to the water, of course. She is a Swim Safer Week ambassador. Gian joined us earlier. They're actually terrifying and this is what we're talking about at the moment in the fact that our drownings or our water-related incidences are up 15% this year, 339 Australians have lost their lives to water-related incidences already this year. And so we're looking at what is causing that, why are these figures so alarming? And it's because we just don't have the number of children enrolled in swimming lessons across the country. There's 43% of all Aussie children are not enrolled in swimming lessons. And learning to swim is not just an enjoyable part of life, it's such an important part of Australian culture and lifestyle, but it's an incredibly life-saving life -saving skill. So this is something we need to work on and raise awareness about, and that's what Swim Safer Week is all about. I'm glad you are, and you also cite cost. The expense is an understandable factor for many parents here. Absolutely. We've all been through so much over the last few years. We don't need to mention why, but one of those things is that there is more financial pressure on families than ever before. And of course, swimming costs money, swimming lessons cost money, and that's why we're looking at this incredible Swim It Forward campaign, which we're asking Australians that can afford to donate the equivalent of a swimming lesson so that kids across the country can participate in swimming lessons and have these life-saving skills going forward. It's a, it's a great initiative too and uh, you mentioned the last couple of years of course lockdowns in, in much of the country led to the closure of swimming pools and even if kids were having lessons they came to a screeching halt. How much of that was uh, a problem in terms of kids swimming development? It's been huge. Uh, as you mentioned, there has been huge uh, issues across the board in terms of lockdowns. We're also looking at how many pools in my region, I'm near Lismore in northern New South Wales, and how many pools and facilities have been impacted by natural disasters in recent times as well. And so actually parents being able to just physically reach a lot of those facilities has been difficult but of course pandemic as well and as I said just cost of living has skyrocketed and so all of a sudden it's not a priority for a lot of families to enrol their kids or afford those swimming lessons and we're saying that it is. We, we look at Australia around us, we're surrounded by water, whether that be oceans, rivers, um, for me on the farm, dams, but also backyard pools. We're so lucky to have so many incredible water features around us. And so when I say that it's not just in a lovely thing to have in terms of learning to swim and having water confidence, it's about saving lives. And uh, we, if we can do that, that's, it's where it starts is learn to swim lessons. Uh, Swim Safer is the peak body for swimming schools around the country. You, you mentioned that funding drive. If people want to donate that swimming lesson or help out in any other way, where can they go? Uh, head to the website site, which is uh, an incredible access for not only Swim Safer Week across the board, uh, 500 swim schools around Australia are participating, so head there to find out exactly what is going on, but also for the incredible Swim It Forward campaign where, as I said, we're offering people or wanting people to donate the equivalent of a swimming lesson. Jan Rooney there, uh, what a great ambassador. Mm, what, what a great, great ambassador. role model. She's, we know how terrific she was in the pool, but uh, yeah, really impressive. Love you her know, as a presenter. The thing that jumped out at me about that interview, Michael, was that she reminded it, it's not just COVID over the last couple of years, but it's these areas that have been hit by floods that mm. now yeah. don't have working pools and areas for people to be doing their swimming lessons as they normally would. Yeah. yeah it's so tough. many sports facilities destroyed. Mm. It's terrible. Okay, we're going to talk World Cup for now and I'm afraid I've got